first we will make slip knot here and tighten up and now make chains chains you can make as your desired length okay, i have here total 20 chains and i'm going to add one extra chain and then skip very first chain on the second chain over here insert your hook pull the yarn and just keep it like this and then next stitch pull the yarn here now we have three stitch and keep going on until you will reach your last stitch so just pull the yarn and keep it stitch on your hook and then again go to the next stitch pull the yarn keep it on your hook just like this and make sure don't make too tight all the stitches And I have here now last stitch. Okay. Now all the stitches on my hook, as you can see. And then we will all the way we'll go back over here until we will reach in our first and the starting stitch. So first here yarn over on your hook and then pull through one stitch only in the starting only pull through one stitch then yarn over and pull through two stitches one this and then second this one so two stitches pull through here and then yarn over again pull through two, two stitches pull through two stitch yeah pull through two stitch yarn over pull through two stitch yarn over pull through two Two stitch yarn over pull through two stitch until you will reach your last first starting stitch just keep going on pull through two stitch pull through two stitch then pull through two stitch done so here my first row completed now as you can see all the stitches and we will start our second row for the second row add one chain first so first i will skip this very first one because i make over here one extra chain we add one chain and then now you can see we have this vertical kind of stitch or loop this vertical one very front one so we have two if you see just if you will turn little bit then you can see two loops so we don't need to do the back loop we just need to take this front loop the, i want to show you which one i'm saying here one is back loop and one is front loop so we just need to take this loop front one insert your hook in this loop and pull the yarn like this and then again next stitch next loop this front loop next one if you see this is the vertical kind of or diagonal and then yarn over pull through and then go to the next stitch you will see all the front loop you will find it here then pull through then next stitch 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 pull through ok 
okay so just keep going on until you will reach your end of row so i will grab all the st stitches then next yeah now i have your last stitch this one okay now all the stitches in my hook on my crochet hook and we will work now all the way back so yarn over first stitch we will just pull through one yarn over on your hook i hope you guys can see yeah and pull through one stitch only this and then yarn over pull through two stitches then yarn over pull through two stitches pull through two stitches so now we just need to yarn over and pull through with two stitches So it's very easy and very fast if you just do more practice with this one if uh, four or five times then you can do very quickly this stitch it's easy and quicker fast project okay now you cannot see your uh, design stitch right now when you make four five six rows then you will find out okay so we completed two line two rows and we were going to make now next row for the next row again same process one single uh, one chain and then we will skip this one and next over here we have this stitch vertical one you will find out this one so insert your hook pull the yarn pull through one and then again same you will find out these stitches yeah next one this and then this one Okay, now I'm my end of row and we're going to back all the way now. Now you can see your design. Okay. And then pull through one stitch and yarn will pull through two stitch, pull through two. So just repeat this process. Actually, this is just one row repeat design. You just need to repeat now. But I'm going to show you once more time so you guys can keep going on. now we completed our three three line th yeah now we're going to start our fourth row same process we will repeat one chain so next stitch over here pull through 
Янова Польцева. Now I'm end of my row. So for this, now we will just pull through one. Okay, we completed four lines and now you guys can see your design at the moment how your design looks like so I'm going to make some more line then I will show you how this is looks like 